Hi artist, it's me, Debbie, again today to hope you have another fun little lesson in art. Um, today we're going to draw a landscape. Yesterday we did an abstract, which was, um, if you remember, line, shape, color, just something to look at and something fun to do. We also learned to see some straight lines, curvy lines, zigzag, uh, wavy, uh, diagonal, horizontal, and vertical. We also learned to see some right angles and see how when we put these things together, we can begin to make a picture. Well, the picture today that we're going to do is a landscape. If you're not sure what a landscape is, a landscape is like a scene. So it could be looking out your backyard. It could be a city scene. Uh, it could be just something that you look at out your window or outdoors or from the view of a car. And I think after you do this lesson, you are going to even be more aware of seeing landscapes. Um, it's just like we're learning to see. Uh, and along the way, we're learning how to draw some things and have some fun. So today, uh, I'm gonna show you real quickly a landscape that I did uh, a few years ago. And um, anyways, it's been hanging in my house for a while. And here it is, right here. It is a landscape. And you might notice some things in it. There is a house. And you might see there are some lines, some right angles, maybe some lines that form a square. You're also going to see some curved lines. And you're going to see a lot of different shapes that we've made. One thing today that we're going to do that is specifically in a landscape is to draw some horizon lines. So right now, this right there, this horizontal line that goes across is called the horizon line. And that is where the sky meets the earth. It also, if you're looking out of a boat, it might be where the sky meets the ocean or a river or a lake. Um, Anyways, I think you're gonna have some fun today with this. So let's grab a piece of paper and something to uh, draw with. And then I wanna show you later on, you know how you can color it or something if you'd like. But first thing you're going to need today is a piece of paper and I'm going to draw big. I thought maybe yesterday I didn't draw quite big enough so you could see. Anyways, and you can use a pencil, a marker. Um, I kind of like to use a marker if you're parents will let you or black crayon because then you're going to color in and you're going to be able to see your lines really nice. First thing I'm going to do today is draw some up and down lines. If you remember, those are the standing up lines that we call vertical. So starting somewhere on your page, we're going to draw a big line all the way up. I'm sure your page isn't as big as mine. And then we're going to draw another one, kind of curved up to the top. And over here on this side, we're going to draw another couple of sort of curvish lines go to the top of the page. So it's gonna look sort of like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is draw a horizon line. So remember, that's a line down line that goes across. So right here, I'm going to draw a horizon line. And when I come to my trees, these are trees by the way, I'm going to skip. So we're gonna go behind the tree and then reconnect that line. Now there we have a couple of trees and a horizon line. And one thing that you might notice when you look outside in a landscape, the farther something away, the smaller it appears. So this house, you know, that you saw in my picture that I did with the sunflower field was little. But if you walked up to that house, you could walk in the door. So same as these trees, these trees in the front look big when you're standing next to them, but the farther away the trees get, the smaller they appear. So we want to give that look to our picture today. So what we're going to do next is draw a couple of trees that are a little smaller. They're gonna go up, not quite as high, maybe about like that. It's gonna meet over to that tree. And maybe just them over here. I'm gonna go up this way and then make it up here. I'm just gonna make a couple of areas same here. And I bring this up to where these are like three limbs. So we're just making some lines here. To show some limbs. And you might even divide that up just a little bit there. So there we go so far. 
we've got this beginning of a landscape. Right now, we have a horizon line. I think I would like to add another horizon line to my picture. So once again, I wanna go behind the trees. So I'm gonna go behind the trees. I've got four trees so far. Make this line a little curvier than the other ones. There you go. Just to give it a little different look. So there we've got some trees, some horizon lines, and a lot of different lines. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is maybe add something. In my picture, if you remember, there were some sunflowers and a little house right in the middle. You could do a house, you could do a barn, you could do anything you want. So in this one, um, just to make it easy and kind of to review yesterday's lines that we used, we're going to make a couple of straightish lines and then we're going to make a right angle. Whoops, my right angle wasn't very good. <laughs> make a right angle. And then we're going to take that straight line across and make a diagonal line. Meeting the lines, bring that line down, and there you have a little house. And you may know how to make a better house than me, and if you do, that's fine. I'm just showing you a kind of a way that I make houses sometimes. Uh, I'm going to add a little porch on my house. So once more, a couple of diagonal lines, and then make some straightish lines down and connect those lines. So I have like a little porch on my house now. And I think I'm going to add a small little chimney up there. Uh, later on, I might make a curly line to show some smoke coming out of my chimney. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is maybe add a little door or maybe just a window over on this side. So once again, I made a square and I made a crisscross in the middle and made a window. So all these things that you do are going to be, um, it's gonna be your picture, not mine. So you can add anything you want. Now, in my picture of the sunflowers, the sunflowers that were the closest to me were the biggest. And as I got closer to the house, they got smaller and smaller. A few more lines in the roof of my house just to make my house interesting. And you can do it yourself. You might make a door. You might need to make a front door so you can get into your house. It may bother some people. They might want a little door with a little doorknob. There you go. Okay, so now after we've got all this, we're going to add some, I'm gonna add some flowers to mine. So right now I took a walk today and I saw a lot of uh, daffodils, Easter lilies, but there's also tulips, there's roses. And this is your picture. It can be any kind of flower that you like. So to start with, I'm just gonna make some lines that kind of look like lines that you might see around a daffodil. They're just kind of coming up and scattering around. And the daffodil itself is kind of like a little cylinder shape. So I made a circle and then it had some little petals around it like this. It also had like a little ruffle around it like this. Now you might want to go out and look at yours and see what kind of flowers you have in your yard before you add, but you can add any kind you want. You can add as many little daffodils as I did. Just making these little cylinder shapes. And then later on, you might add some bumblebees. You might add some butterflies. You might add some pretty caterpillars, uh, frogs, turtles, anything that you might see that you want to draw in your picture. We're gonna add those later if you want. Now, we've got some kind of up and down, some zigzaggy lines. Let's make some curvy lines. Like we might see some bushes that are growing in front of your tree or around your tree. Kind of like that. And then in my tree, I have a lot of squirrels. So I'm gonna make a little hole. So maybe a squirrel might want to move in. Maybe my neighbor. <laughs> now we're in this tree. I'm gonna go be birdhouse. And so I'm just gonna do just like I did before. Make it right angle, make two straight lines, a little line, and a little hole for a bird. So I've got a little birdhouse so, like Uncle John made that I could put for my birds. Okay, now we need to, yesterday we did all kinds of lines and we made it interesting and 
So we want to make this your picture, not mine, uh, in the background. I think I'm gonna add some, remember right angles forming the point, or actually this is kind of a zigzag line. You may know what kind of tree that I'm making. It's just a pine tree and just made with zigzag lines. So you can make a pine tree, you can make more pine trees, you can make bigger pine trees, little pine trees, uh, as many trees as you want. And then remember in the sky, what would you see in the sky? Clouds, rainbows, butterflies, birds, balloons, a uh, hot air balloon, an airplane. Uh, you think of what you might put in the sky and you can add. I'm going to put a fluffy cloud because it's kind of like that today. And also, I'd like to see some sunshine. So, you got kind of up in here. I think I might even put a sun somewhere. Maybe just kind of right here on the tree. And notice once again, we're in behind the tree. Got some sun rays coming out. Going in a very good circle. So what I might do is just turn that into more of a branch. And that will be my circle. <laughs> okay, I'll clear it yellow. <laughs> that branch brown to hide it. Now, trees have limbs. They get a trunk, they have limbs, and they have lots of branches, and the branches are smaller. So we're just gonna make some branches coming out of the trees with some twigs. So make those different directions to fill in some spaces and make your picture even more interesting today. Remember, birds, butterflies, turtles, bunnies, anything that you see outside, add them to your picture. Now, I don't want to make my picture have a little block, so let's give a little block. It's gonna be narrow, but the closer it gets to you, the wider the little block is gonna get. So notice it's small here, it got bigger. We make it bigger still. Let's bring it all the way down, and I want it to just curve, not to run into my tree, but kind of curve off into the tree. So you can make it brick, you can make it cobblestone. If you want to make it cobblestone, you know, you might just make some shapes. Along the cobblestone, a little walk, it's fun. Now, remember, we can finish that if you want. Um, over here, you might make a little fence. Some little lines going different directions. Maybe put a little horse or something back there behind the fence. A little animal that you might want to put back there would be good. Um, and then we're going to add some texture to our trees. So remember, we can have curly lines. We can have little U shapes or like little check marks. You can take some roots around your tree. You can add foliage around these trees. And you could add some things like, you might see the woods, ferns. So you might see something like, well, anything like that that adds interest. And remember the same here, you want to add some zigzaggy, so you make your tree have some texture. So all the way down the tree and up the tree, all the branches that you can add, having fun. And the more you add, the more interesting your landscape becomes. Now, take some time, look and see what your landscape needs. Uh, remember your right angles, remember your curve lines, your wavy lines, remember there's no really mistakes, just happy little accidents. You can add as much as you want. You can add a vehicle, a car, you can add some little shrubs around your house. Don't forget the little animals. Anything that makes your picture you. Okay, and I hope that you see, you look out your windows now, <laughs> You're aware of horizon lines and everything else. So, thank you for listening today and hope you have fun. I oh, won't be sure in color. <laughs>